Birds do it, bees do it, even anemones in the sea do it. All right, marine bio people, today we are talking about reproduction. There are lots of different ways that organisms reproduce. Probably one of the most boring is the one that we think about the most, sex. So sex has a couple different definitions. Sometimes we think of sex as just the fertilization of an egg. So when a sperm enters an egg, we get a zygote and we call that sexual reproduction. But in marine biology, we usually think of sex as internal fertilization. And what does that mean? So internal fertilization is when sperm is placed inside another organism so it can fertilize their eggs. Well, why be so specific? Well, if you're a land animal, internal fertilization is important because sperm dries out as soon as it ex exits the body. And so land animals have to do internal fertilization. But if you're in the ocean, you're surrounded by water and that opens up a lot of other possibilities. Most fish do what is called spawning. Spawning is external fertilization. And so the female fish will lay her eggs and the male fish will come by and fertilize those eggs. Sometimes a female fish will lay all the eggs on a rock and then the male fish will swim by and fertilize those eggs. So we call that spawning. If it is happening outside of the body, it's spawning. Now, what if you are a sessile organism like a sea anemone? So here I'm a sea anemone and I'm stuck to this rock and I can't move. Well, what about that sexy sea anemone over there? How do I reproduce with it? Well, sea anemones and other sessile organisms do what's called broadcast spawning. They take their gametes, their sperm and their egg, and they just release them into the water and the eggs and sperm meet and become fertilized and then they land somewhere and grow into the new organisms. And this works because you're surrounded by water. So that sexy sea anemone over there, if I want to reproduce with it, I just broadcast my gametes, throw my sperm all over the water and it will fertilize the other sea anemone's eggs and then we get new sea anemones. So again, this is called broadcast spawning and many organisms do that. There's also another way that we can reproduce. So we've talked about sex, internal fertilization, spawning, outside fertilization, broadcast spawning, and the other one is asexual reproduction. And so asexual reproduction, like it sounds, is reproducing without fertilization. And so this would just be cloning. So it would be like, there's one of me, and then all of a sudden I'm growing too big, so I start growing a second me, and now there's a clone. And so that would be asexual reproduction. And there's many organisms that do asexual reproduction. It can be beneficial because I don't have to meet someone else. I can just reproduce myself. So I hope you enjoyed this talk about reproduction in the ocean.